a glacier shrinking in size. Now we would like to tell you how and why a glacier shrinks during certain periods and under certain climatic conditions. A glacier is like a savings bank, a system where a series of deposits and withdrawals affect the whole sum. As autumn sets in, snow left over from the previous autumn and winter and glacial ice meet on the surface of a glacier at a given altitude. This imaginary altitude line is called the equilibrium line. The fiscal year or annual savings period for a glacier starts with the first autumn snow. The new snow cover can be thought of as a deposit. It's a new mass that accumulates on the whole glacier until the following spring. Underneath a thick layer of new snow, older snow becomes compact and turns first into fern and at deeper levels into glacial ice. The internal flow and downhill slippage never stop. The glacier moves under its own weight, displacing mass towards its lower margins. The thawing, or better still, melting season, starts in late spring. Warm air currents and sunshine melt snow and ice into water that flows from the glacier. Some of the ice vaporizes as well, and sections break away from the snout of a glacier if it borders on a lake or the ocean. This reduction of mass represents a withdrawal from the sum total of a glacier and is known as ablation. Our melting season turns out to be warm and dry, and much shrinkage takes place quickly. All new snow disappears from the lower reaches of the glacier, as does some of the underlying ice. However, a part of the snow in the upper regions remains in place after the thaw. The remaining snow forms a hard layer, a new but thin layer of fern. This amount is deposited in the account and goes towards future assets. A new fiscal year is about to start. Now the new hard snow layer meets glacial ice that's not covered with snow higher up on the surface than last year's equilibrium line. The new equilibrium line is here, at a higher altitude than last year's line. Let's look at the assets. The volume of the total of new snow this year was a large cube-shaped block, calculated as water. The volume of water lost from the glacier as a result of melting was a cube of this size. In comparison, it's evident there has been a large net loss of mass from the glacier. As a consequence, there is a deficit this year. If such a deficit occurs for a number of years in a row, the glacier becomes thinner and smaller, causing the whole glacier to recede. Therefore, it does not reach as far forward as it once did.